computer. All right, we are live. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me. My name is Connor Farrow. I am the U.S. Alpine Race Manager for Dina Star and Lang. Here today with Ski Racing Media to give you some updates, run you through the line, do a little virtual fit night. Such an interesting time to be alive. Normally this time of the year we'd be on the road. Some have called us road docs as we travel around from town to town and size and fit athletes and clubs. Um, so shout out to Ski Racing Media for making this event happen, allowing us to create a digital alternative to what we normally do. Stoked to be here today. Um, I guess first things first, um, welcome to my home showroom. I'm going to start off by giving you some athlete updates and working with some product and probably bounce around, but um, feel free to ask any questions in the Facebook Live comment section. If you see me bending down, it's because I got another screen here, um, and I'm just trying to make sure that I'm answering questions as they come. So uh, here we go. Um, so throughout the 1920 season, Dean Star Lang athletes had some success on the World Cup circuit. Um, spearheading that is young gun Clement Noel, who got second in the overall for the slalom. Uh, he showed a lot of pace and speed throughout the season. Back and forth with some other top athletes. Uh, Claire Derez from France won a parallel slalom. And then uh, some Lang only athletes, Frederico Brignone winning the overall super combined and GS titles, uh, Thomas Dressen, speed guy, getting some, some good results in there as well. Um, kind of shown that with the product, you know, it doesn't matter what, uh, what discipline you're doing, but uh, you, can, you can be fast on it. Um, domestically, we signed American Luke winners this summer, which was exciting news. Luke had a fantastic season, breakthrough on the World Cup, the three top 30s showing some absolutely insane pace um, at such a young age. And I think in Balbazar, he went from bib 40th to second after first run. Um, so we're excited to have him on the, on the blue skis and, and see what he can do this year. Uh, additionally, we have American Ben Ritchie, who won the NORAM overall this year, and he's got some, some World Cup starts for slalom. So we're excited to see, excuse me, won some big NORAM slalom title. So we're excited to see what he can do um, as a full-timer on the World Cup circuit. And uh, so congrats to these athletes and every athlete. And I will hop into some product. Uh, first, I'll start with some ski updates. As you can see, we have this lovely new graphic. It goes super well with the Lang boot. Uh, and the story behind this, you know, there were focus groups in a number of countries. Um, it was picked by the consumers, kids ages U12 to U21, um, and, uh, you know, the, the consumer picked it. You, know, you guys picked it, so we got, we went, went, ran with it, and, you know, it looks great. Um, and um, some of the updates include uh, the 165 men's slalom ski. That ski is reinforced with metal from sidewall to sidewall. So, you know, it's gonna provide some stability, um, especially torsionally for athletes on every single you know, condition there is. So look out for that. Uh, in addition, the women's 188 30 meter ski is reinforced. And a couple of those tweener sizes, the 175 and 182 are also reinforced. Um, we also have up here is the Course Masters GS ski. As you can see, can't, can't really tell if you can tell, but this is definitely wider, 70 under foot rather than the, you know, the 65. But that's, that Masters ski is updated. Has a tighter radius, um, uh, shorter length, so it's you know, very playful, go-kart feeling. Um, that ski is a weapon. I've skied it, it's very fun. Um, so for someone who's just either a master's racer or looking to go pipe some, some GS or slalom turns, I would suggest hopping on those skis. Uh, for the junior line, no major structure updates to the skis. 
However, we do have a new racing interface. A racing interface is what connects the bindings to the ski. For us this year, it comes in the form of this R21 Junior uh, Pro Plate. For the Junior Ski, we definitely believe in the two-piece plate. This allows the ski, the full body of the ski to bend. Um, not really a good example sitting down, but all right. Uh, you get the point. So um, that R21, um, in comparison with its predecessor, the R20, it's longer, it's lighter, so it can accommodate a bigger range of boot soles, um, but it has a composite insert, so there's no, um, there's no giveaway with performance. It's still, you know, it's still great for that junior, junior athlete. Um, and what comes with the, the junior product, really, is it, it, it's a progressive flex, right? The 128 is different from the 135, which is different all the way up to the 149 junior ski. Um, and that's important because, you know, junior athletes come in a variety of sizes and shapes and abilities. Um, so we feel that having that progressive junior ski allows them to step up as, you know, they work on their timing. They work on, you know, just their overall ability as a ski racer. Uh, so that's important. And, um, and on the adult ski, uh, speaking of racing interfaces, we have this R22 Pro. And this um, is the one piece World Cup tested at the highest level, validated at the World Cup, all, and then, you know, trickles all the way down to the junior program product. Um, this you know, one piece plate we moved over a couple of years ago from a two piece and you know, it's working. So uh, excited to be offering the R22 Pro on all the adult and tweener products again. Um, and yeah, as far as junior product goes, kind of wraps it up. So I think I'll, I'm on the ski side, move over to some boots. Um, you know, not much has changed. The, the Lang boot is the boot. It's got progressive flex, gives you that, that touch, that feather throughout the whole turn, no gas pedal on and off. It really allows an athlete of any age and ability to work on their timing and get better. Uh, and we, you know, we've seen this from an eight year old up to someone racing the Europa Cup level. Uh, you know, um, getting on this boot is gonna help you get better. It's gonna help you progress faster. Um, and, um, you know, part of what comes with that is the technology. And, you know, once again, the technology is validated at the World Cup level. It trickles its way down to the junior program. And um, this year especially, we're excited to be offering a new junior boot with World Cup technology. This is the Z-Soft. So historically, the jump has gone from a 110 short cuff up to a ZJ+. Plus. This is a World Cup lasted 92 plus millimeter while that 110 short cuff is a 97 lasted millimeter. So it's gonna give that junior athlete the same stiffness, but you know, a more, um, with less volume becomes, comes with, uh, or with less uh, volume comes with more, comes more reactivity. So an athlete in this boot, you know, maybe they're a second year U16, um, first year U16, second year U14, whatever their ability has surpassed that short cuff wide last junior boot and now they're ready to jump into a more adult fit and um, you know continue to get better. So this boot is awesome um, and uh, yeah any junior athlete interested should get it in that. Uh, with all our boots you know comes the technology of dual core. Dual core is you know it is a game changer. What it is is uh, it's called the power injection method. We have multiple durometers, durometers being the hardness of the plastic being injected simultaneously into a boot mold. Here is a nice example. So as you can see, white plastic, blue plastic, two different kinds of stiffnesses of plastic allow for the boot um, to just, that, what I already talked about, you know, the progressive flex. And, um, 
and that's carried in all of our lines. Um, think of it as a dual core sandwich, a hard plastic, a softer plastic, and a hard plastic. So when it flex, it really allows the elasticity of the boot to move throughout and transfer power um, throughout the entire turn. Um, you know, that progressive flex, less on and off. Um, in addition to that, um, we have, you know, the bindings in here, and this is kind of when it gets into the actual fit day. You know, the reason why us ski reps travel around these events, you know, to give you suggestions on what product um, to get on. Um, for us at Dina Star Lang, you know, we have a sizing chart. This thing is awesome, probably can't see it that well. Um, but my contact information will be available at, um, in Ski Racing Media's Facebook page in the comment section below, uh, as well as at the virtual fit night page. So, you know, if you, if you have questions about height and weight and, and what binding to be in, um, you know, some of the bindings are compatible with the R21 plate, the junior plate. Some are only compatible with the R22 plate. So, you know, these are super commonly asked questions. Um, they're super easy to answer. Uh, so feel free to reach out to me um, directly. Uh, in addition to that, I have uh, you know a bunch of other resources available um, that I'm I'm happy to share. Uh, sizing fit guides. You know, a commonly asked question I get a lot would be the difference between our 149 junior slalom and our 150 tweener slalom. Um, or the 165 Junior GS and the 165 Tweener GS. You know, pretty much the same length ski, um, but what the difference is is the plate. One comes with the R21, one comes with the R22. In the case of the slalom ski, that 149 is a true junior ski. The construction is made for a junior athlete, as where the 150 is gonna, it's gonna be a little bit stiffer, and it's a true tweener ski, bridging the gap between the junior and adult fist line. So for that U16 age, that's a great ski, a good jump. Um, and you know, there's no need to jump all the way up to the fist ski, especially when the, uh, you know, the radius of the course, um, it, you know, might not be the best for certain athletes um, at a U16 age. And same with the 165 GS, you know, we have one with the two piece plate, and we have one with the one piece of the R22 Pro World Cup plate. So, you know, these are, those are commonly asked questions. Others include, you know, what flex boot should I be in? And, and this is, this is, this is going to be really crucial this year. Um, and it's to have coaches involved with the, you know, with the whole process. And, you know, you, they, they, for the most part are hundred percent involved and it makes, you know, our life way easier because we don't get to see the athletes ski. You know, we're not with them day to day. So even when we did get to come around and, and you could try on boots in person, uh, it's still tough because we don't get to see you on snow, see what kind of skier you are, how strong you are, if, you know, et cetera. Um, and your coach is, you know, seeing you in the gym every day, see on the, seeing you on the hill. Um, another important factor is, you know, your parents, they, they're watching you grow too. They know how strong you are. They're the ones feeding the athlete. Um, so when it comes down to it, you know, this year, um, you know, I've been relying a lot on, on coaches to help me as I make suggestions for athletes because they're the ones that, that know the best. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm going to check this Facebook page here and see if we have any more questions. Um, but kind of the short and sweet version of this. And let's see. Um, Luke Winters, Dina Star Superstar. Thank you, Lynn L. Very cool. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like we have many other questions, but you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna be periodically checking uh, the comment section of this. So feel free to give this a watch, and I will run through um, and, and try to answer as many questions as possible. And um, you know, like I said feel free to reach out. My contact information is going to be in the comment section of this on the virtual, um, you know, Spiracy Media's page. And um, I think that's all I had.
I hope to see you all on the slopes this winter. Hopefully it starts snowing soon. I'm ready for it. Everyone stay safe out there. See you later. Thank <laughs> you.